Oh, YouTube. Today's video is going to be, I'm gonna try to make it quick, as quick as I can. Uh, so as you all know, all we ends literally just came out today and I've been uploading a lot of shorts on the Halloween ends figure that I made. Uh, I never actually did a review on the channel, and as a matter of fact, when I was thinking about doing a review, I decided to make a Corey Cunningham custom figure. <laughs> and it's not the best. It's right here. Michael's right there. I didn't turn, um, because the kills figure, this was obviously a kills mask. This is a 2018 body. Because, like, in Halloween Ends, his body is way baggier, again, than Kills. And, basically, by the way, this is, my, oh, my cat is coming here. His name is Loki, you've probably heard him on the channel. A.K.A. the Purring Cube. Anyways... Um, yeah, I didn't want to turn, uh, my favorite kills head, the only kills head I actually had, into another mask for Corey Cunningham. Even when I can, sorry if you hear noises, by the way, um, I literally have, I don't know if I even have enough rooms to be recording videos now. Now's been a really rough time. That, that's why I basically haven't been uploading in a while. You know, like, it, yeah, it's serious stuff, but, uh, basically, I can anyways just put that head on that if I want it to be the copycat killer mode. But, uh, let's see, who should I go over first? Uh, we'll obviously go over Michael last, I would say. Uh, Corey Cunningham. Uh, he's new to the series, and actually... And, and spoiler alert, spoiler alert. This video is a straight-up spoiler alert to those who haven't seen it. So if you haven't seen it, click off immediately. And I should have said that before I called him the copycat killer, because... Okay, if you're not out, I, I warned you. Don't, don't, don't blame me, okay? So, Corey Cunningham is this new character in the Halloween series. He is basically, in 2019, we see that uh, this is a year later after Halloween, H40 and Halloween kills the horrible tragedy in 2018 really gruesome michael this is most kills michael has killed ever in his life and he the most time he's gone rampage well, i mean seriously rampage and Corey cunningham is basically i would say a babysitter at the time he was babysitting uh this kid i forgot his name course because i forget a lot of names except unless they're the main character or they're a, can a character i like um so he babysits him and the kid is a total jerk and he goes in the attic of his own house and is teasing Corey. and when the parents are on their way home they hear Corey slamming on the door and he's like well, I'm gonna kill you for this, you know, he didn't actually mean it, you know, he was just saying it as a phrase, you know, but they were getting a little worried, then all of a sudden they saw their f freaking son fall down off the top of the stairs and break his nose and his neck, and he died, and they saw Corey Cunningham holding a knife, he didn't do it on purpose, you know? I mean, the guy's innocent. The poor guy got pretty much framed by nothing. But it was mostly the kid's fault, in my opinion. A really stupid kid, in my opinion. I mean, he, he was really rude. 
Um, so anyways, yeah, then a couple years later, this, this cat just he keeps wanting to get up here. Get wanting to get up here. <laughs> I'll show Loki and uh, I'll show this. Okay, now he's busy looking the floor. Okay. Back to what I was saying. So, yeah. Now, years later. Oh, he's back! He can't stop! He can't stop! Okay. So, um, years later in 2022, Loki, don't even. Now he's laying down. He's a good cat. A really good cat. And a cat I've never seen love a human so much. So basically, yeah, years later, he is I think he's working at a mechanic shop. He's fixing cars. And basically, he. Oh man, I need to. Ugh. We should just get onto the figure. If y'all know what I'm saying, if I, I'll i say it in a quicker version. So he got out. He met Allison, Lori's granddaughter, then. They like each other. Corey got threw off a bridge and something dragged him in the sewers, which I think was Michael. And he, I think Michael's evil, passed on to Corey, but not for long. So yeah, this is the Corey Cunningham figure. He's basically the copycat of the movie. And I honestly really feel bad for him. I really feel bad for him in the movie. I mean, the poor guys. I mean, he, he didn't even want to be evil, you know? But, you know, everyone, when they saw them, they just <laughs> treated him like a little piece of crap. Because they all think, oh, he's the child murderer now. And, you know, I mean... If he was a child murderer, why wouldn't you just keep him in jail forever, you know? He didn't even do it. Uh, but, yeah, and you might be like, well, why is his overalls look clean? And it looks like 78 dirtier overalls than it should look burnt up and charred up like this. Well, actually... Um, when Corey Cunningham stole Michael's mask, he just stole the mask, literally. Like, he didn't steal a knife, he didn't steal his overalls, he just stole the mask, because he worked at a place to fix cars, so he already had overalls on him, and honestly... I think this looks, it looks good. I even did a stab wound on his hand there. Man, I, I said I was gonna make this quick, sorry. Sorry if this is, it's probably not even gonna be quick. I told you, when I, when I start talking about it, I can't stop talking. But yeah, I did the bandage over the hand with an actual bandage wrap. It took a while. I was just burning it with the hot glue gun into the plastic. And if you're wondering, yes, this is Halloween 2 coveralls. Uh, as a matter of fact, what I did is I cut off the collar and I made a new collar. Kind of like that 78 look, but, you know, it's not supposed to be 78 coveralls. But I made it, I made it look accurate. Uh, not the bullet wounds on it, because I just wanted this to be like, you know, when he first actually became a 
copycat of Michael Myers. Um, I wouldn't even say he's a copycat, really. I mean, he didn't want to be Michael Myers. I mean, he, you know, he, he literally fought Michael and stole his mask. But, like, I mean, this... Michael didn't even have the energy to kill him. I mean, just think about that. Um, yeah. So this is ahead. I can't remember what figure I used this head on. It was a pretty old, crappy figure. That's what I know. I was going to take the, uh, the glasses of my Laurie Strode figure and put them on him. But I lost them as usual i lose everything and then i have to buy a new one when i can't find it and i'm looking for months and then when i buy the new one i just find it randomly and then i it was useless buying the other one waste of money and then i get all mad and i get all sad and this is the freaking cycle of anger if you want me to put michael's mask on uh Corey Cunningham, I will do that. And I think he was wearing different shoes, so I might fix that later. It looks good. You know, for some reason at first I thought it would be looking stupid, like, come on. I mean, I know it's going to be movie accurate, but it's like, come on. Michael's charred up mask with a clean, a really clean suit, and a really skinny suit, too. When the mask is really, I mean, it's even big on Corey Cunningham for crying out loud, but you know what? It actually looks good. It looks even a little better than having him on the actual Michael, uh, like, on the actual Michael figure. So, yeah, you can have the the copycat michael or Corey cunningham uh i could probably even do stop motions with this or just videos with this as a matter of fact if you guys were wondering because i have made some short films on the channel you should go check them out if you haven't of halloween uh 2018 and halloween kills short films um I did on the channel like uh, two months ago. You should check them out. And if you're wondering if I'm gonna do an ends, well, I am gonna do an ends. And it's gonna be pretty similar, just like the other ones that I did. Um, but, and if you're wondering if I was crying during the ending of Halloween ends, you are correct, because I am a real Halloween fan. If you were wondering, I might not post lots of videos of Michael Myers on my channel. Really, I haven't even been posting lately. All I've been doing is posting shorts because I don't even have enough time to hop on my computer on my PC, which is really sad. But, okay. There is Corey Cunningham. Took me freaking 13 minutes to review him, but okay. Now, Michael Myers himself. The serial killer we all know and love has finally came to his end. So, Michael Myers here, baggy jumpsuit once again. I used the 2018 overalls. And I really love it. Because, uh, like, first I put this head on uh, kills and I was like, it looks good, but it just looks off. It just looks too skinny you know and when i watch the movie i'm like no we're not doing that that looks way too skinny i mean kills is kills ends will be ends but ends kind of has a baggy um overalls uh like the h40 so i took that and dirtied it up and it actually looks really good it looks, I mean, it looks really good. And this fi this figure's done. I've been working on this figure for a while. I actually did a video a couple of months ago of this figure. What I first, uh, I think it was a week before the trailer came out. And the 
first trailer. So I think it was on July. And I had real hair on him, as a matter of fact. It looked pretty cool. And the mold effect, I really wished it was going to look like that. But it sadly didn't when we saw the trailer. And I took it off. But I never even really showed you guys. Because I didn't even have enough time, remember? Uh, but I was posting other videos anyways. And I was busy with other stuff too. The summer was really busy for me. Especially, especially like... Oh man, now I just, all I do is want to distract myself. Um. Yeah. It looks pretty good. And if you're wondering if this is the Halloween 2 hands, yes. I use these all the time. Because I don't know why when NECA makes their Michael Myers hands holding a knife, it'll, he's holding it. Like, he's holding it like this. And when you see in the movies, it's, it looks a lot more like this. And this is when he's holding the, the freaking scalpel in Halloween 2. He should be holding it uh, uh, like that in Halloween 2. And then, like, that almost, I, I don't know. I just preferred it. I darkened it up because I saw the movie and I'm like, jeez, Michael's hands are, they are dirty. And this hand, if you want to know what I used for it, I just put hot glue and mold it over the 2018 uh, uh, shot off fingers. I just mold it over the wound and kind of made it look. You know, like it did in the movie, and then I darkened it out. And it honestly looks really, really good. It looks really accurate. The mask does too. We've had lots of look at this, and this is insane. Here, I'll take it off so you can get a closer look. And I'm reviewing this, not on my phone, on my tablet, so and it doesn't have that good quality as my iPhone 14, and yes, it is an iPhone 14. Uh, what I did for that orangey mold effect, I just put some, mix some orange and black and red paint to do that effect. Here, I kind of like put some white paint, but I used a hot glue gun and kind of melted it in with it and put some black on it here this side looks perfect in real life this thing looks it looks phenomenal I well actually first I put some white cotton and I molded it in with the mask and it looked good for a while but then later on Today, when Halloween Ends came out, I'm like, that looks, it looked too smooth, because I put way too much on, so you couldn't even see the, the actual Halloween Kills burn mold on it, so I took it off today, didn't really put any paint on it, and it already looks good like that, and I'm leaving it like that, it looks really great. I kind of made his eyes a little wider, a little droopier, like they were. And, and because, especially how the Trick or Treat Studios mask had just came out. When I got the mask uh, last Saturday, I saw how the eyes were a little droopy. And I just kind of copied that out. And it looks really accurate. It looks really accurate. The hair, I didn't really do much, but kind of like made this side a little, a little cleaner than it was for kills, but moldier in a, in a way, you know what I'm saying? I didn't use another head for this, uh, once again. 
because I didn't want to ruin my other kills, and I'm gonna have to get another kills figure anyways, because of my Corey Cunningham figure, he does need an extra head, and I probably can make an extra head for him too. And then I'll have, uh, wait, no, 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 not an extra head for, for him. The extra head for him will actually be for him. And then I'll have the other head for my kills, and then it'll be a uh, win-win, <laughs> whatever you call it. 20 minutes, and I said this was going to be a fast review. It wasn't. Um... I tried finding an old accessory knife to have like the moldy knife, but I couldn't find one. So I just had to take this bloody knife, a 2018 modified knife, buy me, blood effect, done by me. And this is pretty much the end of the video guys so i really hope you enjoyed it i hope you will be excited for uh halloween coming and especially my halloween ends uh fan film coming it's gonna take me a while to make it um i'm probably gonna have to watch halloween ends over and over again but yeah, stay tuned for that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed Halloween Ends. I cried. I mean, my eyes are still hurting. I think my eyes are swollen. It's really sad, especially for real Halloween Ends. Uh, especially for real Halloween fans like me. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.